guys. So you can't see me right now. You can only hear me, which is a little weird. You can probably see me in the mirror here. But today is my long-awaited makeup collection video. I'm super, super, super excited to share this with you guys. You guys have been waiting for it for so long. Ever since I started Snapchatting my organizing journey, you guys have just been requesting this a ton. So I'm finally finished with the organization and storage of my makeup collection, and I'm ready to share it with you guys. Pretty much this is my vanity. This right here, what you see, is actually a dresser. This is actually what you guys see at the back of my videos. I just made the top of my dresser here my vanity. So I don't have a chair where I can sit down, but I have all my makeup here, and I have the rest of my makeup inside two Alex drawers that are stacked on top of each other, which I'll show you guys in a bit. I do want to make a quick disclaimer. This collection isn't the biggest ever, but it's not the smallest ever. And if you don't like to see a lot of makeup, then you probably should just not watch this video. I have a ton of other videos that you might be interested in. YouTube is my job, and I get a lot of products sent as PR. And I also purchase a lot of products because um, I love makeup and I'm a makeup junkie. I regularly go through my collection and de-hoard things, declutter things that I don't like. Give it to charity, give it to people who are less fortunate that I know. Give it to friends, give it to family. Pretty much I don't want to make this intro super long. Let's just go ahead and get into my decorations on my vanity first and then we'll get into the makeup collection. When it comes to my vanity, my kind of style is mixing metals. So I really love to mix gold. I have a lot of gold as you can see. But I love to mix gold and also rose gold and chrome. So I like to kind of bring all the different metals together and I think it just looks really pretty I will show you guys where everything is from and I will link everything down below But my dresser I actually got years ago at a furniture store called Leon So you cannot get it anymore um, So I know a lot of people ask me about my dresser so I do want to address that Getting on to my vanity I do have a glass tabletop This did not come on top of the dresser I actually got this glass tabletop custom made to put on top of my dresser By the way my hands are self tanned and I I'm usually good at self tanning my hands, but I got them like a little bit too tanned this time and it looks kind of weird So just ignore that but um, yeah, so really good ideas just to make sure you always put a glass top on top of your vanity I literally it's the best thing I ever did I feel like it looks super classy and like glamorous, but it's actually really practical So starting over here on my vanity I love this like I've had this for years and I put these fake flowers that I got from the dollar store Actually, and I paid a dollar and I think there's three different ones in here So I paid like three bucks moving on here. I have this gold um candle holder. I absolutely love this for the simple fact that it is gold and it just adds a little bit of that gold bling to my vanity and I keep a candle that was also from Target. It's scentless and I don't light it at all. It's only for show, only for decoration. Then the next thing that you will see here is actually a 12 piece. Is that 12? Yeah, 12 piece um, acrylic um, lipstick holder and I actually got this from Amazon a while ago. At the top here I have six Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks and I kind of did like an ombre effect. So over here here I have Milkshake, Pure Hollywood, Lovely, Dusty Rose, Trust Issues, and Sepia. And then over here I have my YSL lipstick. And then I have four Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. And then I have my limited edition MAC, I don't know how to pronounce that, MAC Bianca B lipstick. So moving on here on the rest of my vanity I have this really, really, really nice Luxe box that I absolutely love. It's from Luxie Beauty. It's their four drawer acrylic organizer. I absolutely love this. This to me is a necessity to have on top of my vanity. Although most of my makeup is in the Alex drawers that I will show you later. I love having like my everyday go to makeup in this little box. Let me just go ahead and show you what else is on my vanity and then I'll come back to this box and show you guys what's in here and then we'll move on to the Alex drawers. I just have a vanity mirror which I use when I want to do a close up of my makeup but normally I will just use this white mirror back here to do my makeup which by the way I got that mirror from HomeSense years ago again. This gold mirror I absolutely love. I actually got this from Amazon. It's by the brand Danielle and it's called the Danielle Metallic Mirror I believe. And then over here is where I keep my makeup brushes and I absolutely love this. I actually got this from Amazon.ca or .com. It's actually, you can actually get this at Target if you're in the US and it is called the Soho Glam Caddy. Again, I will link it down below for you guys and I absolutely love this because it spins so I can see all of my brushes really quickly. I zoomed in a little bit for you guys so you guys can see it a little bit better, but there you go. 
Again, it spins. I can't get over the fact that it spins. Like, it just really gets me. I love it. So, next over here, I have these two brushes that I really love these brushes, but I love the packaging of them as well. This is the Tarte Airbrush Foundation Bamboo Brush, I believe it's called. Love this, and the packaging is gorgeous. Then I have the Becca Limited Edition Copper Brush. This is the Perfecting Brush. Now, moving back to this acrylic box that I keep my everyday makeup in, I actually have a coupon code for you guys to get it for, I think, 15% off or 20% off, but I will leave it on the screen and also down below for you guys so on top here I just have these two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks I actually purchased these recently this is Posh Spice and this is Celebrity Skin and then on the top corner here what you see is actually a lash holder that I got from ladymossbeauty.com. I like to keep my everyday lashes inside of this little compartment here on the top here I have social eyes lashes in the style siren I have Esquito in the style Voila, and then I have Morphe Wisp. So in the top drawer here, this is what I like to call my face drawer. So I have my Holy Grail favorite foundation that I use almost all the time, so it just makes it convenient to keep it in here, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, and Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm a concealer junkie, I couldn't choose one. Then I have two primers, so my Holy Grail face setting powder, the Laura Mercier one is here. And then I have two bronzers that I go for every day, the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion 30M, the Becca Shadow Light Contour Bronze Perfector. So this is actually a new highlight from Anastasia. This is in the shade So Hollywood. This is absolutely gorgeous, like beautiful, hello. So I'm kind of just testing that out right now. I also have a new one that I just purchased from Bobbi Brown. This is Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. So I just have that up here. And then I have two highlighters that are my longtime favorites that I just love. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. And then I have a Becca Champagne Pop, which is just amazing. Then I have two blushes that I love. I have the ColourPop uh, what's this called? Between the Sheets blush. And then I have Hourglass Mood Exposure. And then in this drawer, I kind of have like my other eye products. So I have a bunch of um, liners in here, two favorite mascaras, two other ones I love down there. I have my brow products on this side. What's really cool about this um, Luxie Beauty Box is they actually give you these dividers. So you see how this divider is movable? I, however, only wanted one divider in this drawer. So I put a divider right here. I have the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, the two um, L'Oreal... Brow Plumper Stylus and Maybelline Brow Satin, Satin Pencil Duo. The MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This I use to prime my eyelids. The Anastasia Dip Brow, which is literally holy grail for me. Now moving on to the third drawer here. This is kind of like a guilty pleasure drawer. So this drawer has nothing to do with my everyday makeup. So I have pretty much all my gold package lipsticks here because it just looks really pretty. So I have a bunch of the Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses. I have two Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, which I love the formula on these. And my favorite shade is Aphrodite. And then I have some LA Splash liquid lipsticks here. So this is LA Splash Charmed. Then I have another two LA Splash back here. This is LA Splash. Innocent Vixen and then Ghoulish. And then I have three of my uh, Too Faced Melted Lippies. I have Melted Sugar, Melted Chihuahua, Melted Violet. And then I have three LA Girl Lip Paint. So I love this drawer. It's one of my favorite drawers probably. Then we have this drawer down here, which this drawer is probably the drawer that I go into the most just because it has all of my tools and also my eye palettes. So in here I have my Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow. I have this one which I love and it's actually pretty new for, on my, for me so I kind of just kept that there so I can try it out. And then I have another Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette because Makeup Geek shadows are what I use pretty much all the time. Then I have my Kat Von D contour palette. This I actually only have in here because it didn't fit in my Alex drawer. These are my Makeup Forever eyeshadows. MAC, Sephora, some Urban Decay down here, and two MAC shadows. Now on the side here, I have my setting spray that I use every day. This is the Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Mist. Back there, I have a beauty blender from Quo. I have a sharpener for me to sharpen my pencils. I have a beauty blender. I have a Sephora mirror. I have a lash glue tweezers and scissors down there. So now moving on to where I store most of my makeup, I actually have two Alex drawers stacked on top of each other from Ikea. So starting on the top here, I actually have what's called a turntable. I actually got this from Solutions. I spray painted it myself white because it originally came in a kind of wood color. This is actually typically what you would use on top of a kitchen table to put like condiments and stuff like that and like salt and pepper and all that stuff. But I actually just kind of DIY'd it and turned it into a little perfume turntable. So this is where 
I keep all of my perfumes just displayed really nicely. So now let's move on and actually look inside these drawers and check out what I have stored in them. So for the first drawer up here, I have all of my foundations and concealers in here. Now the acrylic organizers that I have in here, I absolutely love. But this is a 8x12 piece. Then back here, you'll notice that there is more. These are pretty much shades that currently do not match me. So I just kind of have them back there. But I do have ones over here that do match me. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo, Estee Lauder Double Wear, Giorgio Armani, um, a little sample Makeup Forever Ultra HD, um, a couple great skin, or sorry, Better Skin by Maybelline. Don't ask why I have three. CoverGirl. Another Estee Lauder Holy Grail Foundation, Maybelline Fit Me's Matte and Poreless Hydrate and Smooth, the L'Oreal Pro Matte. And then down here in this, I think, 3 by 12 so that they match up perfectly. 3 by 12 acrylic thing that I got from Solutions. Here I have all my concealers in. So I have the Maybelline Master Conceal, Maybelline Age Rewind. What else do I have? Sephora. I think I have two MAC ones here, so that's it for the first drawer. So this second drawer here is where I decide to keep my um, face powders, primers. Let me show you guys these acrylic organizers here. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that these acrylic organizers right here are bay. So because of their perfect dimensions, they actually fit three side by side and two back to back. They fill up the entire Alex drawer perfectly so that you're maximizing the amount of space that you have. These acrylic organizers actually stack perfectly one on top of the other. I actually scored these at Winners, HomeSense, and Marshalls. They're selling them for a really good price. So this is like my face drawer where I keep primers and um, powders. So on the side here in one of these acrylic organizers, I have all of my primers. So I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the Too Faced Hangover, I have some... Let me get this out of here. Some Makeup Forever Step 1 primers. Maybelline Baby Skin. I have an e.l.f. primer back here. Maybelline. And then I have this new Becca Backlight Primer that actually I just got in the mail. Literally just got it in like half an hour ago. I also have some powders here. The Ben Nye Luxury Powders in the shade Banana. Cameo. And then I also have Translucent Neutral Set. which It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. Rimmel Stay Matte, which I love. A Urban Decay Naked Skin Powder. I have three MAC Studio Skin Powders. The next drawer is my blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. This drawer is crazy, guys. This drawer is crazy. I am definitely a bronzer highlighter hoarder. When it comes to blushes, I don't have too, too many, but highlighters I hoard, as you can see. So. Let's just get into it. So on the left here, I have all of my highlighters. I have three of the Gerard Cosmetics highlighters. And then I have my Becca highlighters. So I have this limited edition blushed copper one. Love the packaging on that. I'm not crazy about the actual powder, but I just, I love the packaging. So I do admit I hoard the packaging on this one. And then I have all of my shimmering skin perfectors. Opal, and then I have Rose Gold, Moonstone, and Topaz. And then on the side here, I actually have an e.l.f. highlighter. I like having this on the side here because it fits right there, and it keeps these from moving around. So, an e.l.f. highlighter there. I have the Balms Mary Luminizer. These on the side here are actually Anastasia highlighters. Peach Nectar here, which that's Peach Nectar. And then over here, I have Riviera, and then Starlight. I highlight... Obsession continues on the back here. I have another acrylic organizer back here, and I have this NARS Jubilation Dual Blush Highlight. And I have one of my, probably actually my favorite drugstore highlight ever. It's the Milani Tantastic. And I also have two e.l.f. highlighters that I just keep on the side here because they fit perfectly and again keep everything from rolling around and just keeps it snug in there. Two ColourPop highlighters, Lunch Money and Wisp. Then I actually have another highlighting palette. I know this is crazy. Uh, the Becca Afterglow palette. This again just came in the mail j literally 30 minutes before I started filming this video. And it is full of highlighters and blushes. And then in the middle here is actually all of my bronzers. So starting over here I have all of my Too Faced bronzers and blushes. A Sephora Los Cabos bronzer. This is one of my favorite favorite bronzers ever for contouring. NYC bronzers, another Smashbox here, 
a MAC bronzer. This is Harmony. This is actually a blush, but I use it as a bronzer. I have a NYX taupe snuck on the side here. And then underneath here, I'll show you guys what I actually have underneath these. Underneath here, I have more highlighters, but these are actually all of my liquid. I keep the liquid highlighters down there just because I like liquid highlighters, but they're not what I use very often. Then underneath here, I have another one of those Danielle nail polish things with the separator just because I they fit perfectly with the Harmons, so it's pretty much like a dupe of the Harmon ones, except these are more expensive. These are like more my fair bronzers, so I don't use these right now because I'm tan. And then lastly, over here, I have all of my blushes. I have three Milani blushes here. First over here, a Tarte Exposed blush. I have a Jordana blush, which is one of my favorites ever as well. And I have three Becca blushes. Three of the Benefit Box blushes and bronzers. The next drawer I have here is actually my single eyeshadow drawer and also my other eye products drawer. This is probably one of my favorite drawers because it is so pleasing to the eye. Here I have the Milani Bella Eyes shadows. I have a couple stacked on top of each other. Then I also have two of the Milani foiled shadows um, or foiled liners. One over here in the corner and another one over here in the corner. And then underneath there. So this is where I like to keep my eyeshadow quads that aren't single eyeshadows but they're not necessarily full on eyeshadow palettes. And then over here you will see all of my ColourPop eyeshadows. I also have some L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows over here which you guys know I love these stacked on top of each other. So just to show you guys a couple, this one is the shade Lucky, which is a really pretty gold. It is absolutely beautiful, so love that. And then on the far right here, you will see all of my Anastasia waterproof cream colors. These are actually really nice. I have a bunch of really cool um, shades that they sent out to me. I love these. These are really good quality. On MAC Paint Pot, this is the shade Rubenesque. I absolutely love this shade. It's like a duochrome peach and gold. And then I have two of my Maybelline color tattoo. And then over here, I have a foiled Stila eyeshadow. This is in the shade Kitten, and it is just beautiful. I've done a couple tutorials with this in the past. And on the bottom underneath here, so I have two Lit Cosmetics glitters, a Sigma glitter, um, two MAC sample glitter, and underneath this right here, I actually have more single shadows. I have some Jordana single shadows, Essence single shadows, which are really good quality, some Wet n Wild back here, some NYX back here, and some Joe Fresh back here. So at the back here, it might be a little bit hard for you guys to see, but there's nothing too much to miss. I just have a bunch of liquid eyeliners here, some Kat Von D, some Jordana, and then over here, I have a bunch of like pencil liners. So I have a Milani one, I have a NARS one, I have L'Oreal, I have NYX, just a bunch of pencil liners. And then I have some brow products over here. I have a brow bar to go, Becca Brow Mousse, uh, Jordana Shadow, Anastasia Brow Wiz, Anastasia Powder Duo, um, Urban Decay, NYX, and I actually don't have anything underneath these. It is completely empty down there, so it's good for extra storage for whenever I need it. And then underneath this, I actually do have my mascaras. So I when it comes to mascaras, I tend to just stick to the ones that I really like, but I do have more down here. Jordana colored mascaras, which I really like these. And then I do have some of my high-end mascaras back here, um, like the Benefit, They're Real, the Too Faced, Better Than Sex, and Sigma ones, but I don't reach for those too often. And then back here, I do also have two um, gel liner, so I have the Morphe one and the Maybelline one. And that is it for this drawer. So the next drawer is actually um, empty. It's just for extra storage. I actually have underneath this one, next what I'm going to show you guys is my lip product drawer, and that one is a little bit crazy. So I have this one empty here so that whenever I do need more lip product storage, I have an empty drawer for it. So this, like I said, is my lip product drawer. Now mainly in here I have a bunch of liquid lipsticks because that's my favorite lip product. Five of the the Harman organizers here, but then I have a, another one here that's a little bit shorter just to keep my lip liners. This one is actually from Room and Order 8 by 4 inches. I have all of my lip liners in this one, so I have a bunch. I have some MAC lip liners, I have some Jordana, some Makeup Forever, another Jordana, another MAC, a clean color, and then I also have an Anastasia lip primer here. And then starting on the left here, I actually have some Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. They did send me the entire collection, so that's why I have every single one. I absolutely love these. And over here, I have Pure Hollywood, which if you guys 
like follow my channel then you know this is my holy grail lipstick literally i use this all the time and i have two of them you saw one on my vanity and then on the side here i have more liquid lipsticks these are the ColourPop liquid lipsticks and then underneath here i actually have some NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, um, and then I have some Kat Von D liquid lipsticks too. Moving on to the back of the drawer, I have all of the Anastasia lip glosses. Again, having my favorite ones on top so they're easier to reach. And then over here I have like a bunch of my kind of chubby lip pencils. So I have some ColourPop over here, I have a bunch of e.l.f. ones, I have a Buxom, I have a bunch of the Revlon Matte Color Burst ones, an Annabelle one, some Sigma ones at the bottom, Maybelline Color Blur. And then in this one, I have a bunch of NYX butter glosses. I have Sigma gloss. I have Revlon. This is a limited edition MAC one. This one right here in the shade Lazy Sunday. And that is pretty much it for my liquid lippy drawer. Now the next drawer that I have here is really pleasing to the eye as well. It is my lipstick drawer. Now I want to talk about the organizers that I keep in here. This is the Shani 24 acrylic lipstick holder. The reason why I specifically love these is because the dimensions fit perfectly in the Alex drawer. Basically I have six of these lined up this way and then two of these lined up side by side that way. And that way it fits perfectly. The only thing is it leaves a little bit of a square back here in the corner which I don't mind. Another thing why I love these specific ones um, is because you can see how slim it is. So it's super slim and sleek. A lot of the acrylic organizers um, for lipsticks out there are kind of chunky. Another thing that I love is that the individual lipstick holder itself is nice and tall so it's not too too short. Now the reason why I love that is because when you put a lipstick in it, it doesn't wiggle and move around a lot. So the only thing with these shanty ones is that if you have a super big lipstick like the Kat Von D ones, the Kat Von D ones actually don't fit in there. So I just have it tucked back here. But every other lipstick that I own fits perfectly in them. I have all of the Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks right here. From MAC, I have... I think this is Myth. Yes, Myth. It's the lightest nude that I have except for Flesh Pot, which Flesh Pot's right here. And the thing with these um, lipstick holders is it actually leaves a little bit of an empty space on the side there. What's really cool is that you can actually utilize that extra empty space and store more lipsticks there. So these organizers fit perfectly. I have all of my Jordana lippies. I do have a Lime Crime lipstick here. I know with the whole Lime Crime scandal, I definitely don't use that lipstick at all. I don't support it. But I did purchase it and I paid a pretty penny, especially being in Canada with shipping and all, to purchase it. So I'm not going to throw it out. The packaging is really nice, so I just keep it especially for like collectible purposes, you know what I mean? I just keep it, but I do not support them at all. I don't ever use it, literally. I, like I said, I paid for it, so I might as well at least just keep it. I have some NYX lipsticks right here. I'll show you guys a couple. I have this shade right here, which is butter, which is a really pretty kind of cooler tone um, sepia shade from the drugstore. I have all of my Wet n Wild Mega Last lippies in there. I have a Nude Beach by Too Faced. This one's really pretty. This is a L'Oreal lipstick um, in the shade... Ferris Nude, and I keep that right beside the Milani ones because it looks almost the same packaging. Now, the next drawer that I have here is my palette drawer. I absolutely love this drawer. I am such a powder hoar uh, palette hoarder. I absolutely love hoarding makeup palettes, and especially eyeshadow palettes. I just... I love it. Like, every time a new one comes out, I'm like, I need it. So, over here I have a bunch of Z palettes. I have my large double Z palette where I keep all of my Morphe eyeshadows in here. Then I have um, Makeup Geek blushes. Love these. And I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadows in here. I like to keep my palettes lined up sideways. You can actually see the tops of them and see what I have. Where I have the Naturally Pretty palette by It Cosmetics. I have the Balm Nude Tude. I have the Lorac Pro. Urban Decay Naked palettes. I have Naked Smoky, which is the newest one. Naked 2, which is the first eyeshadow palette that I ever owned. My boyfriend bought this for me, I think, three years ago for Christmas, and it was my first ever eyeshadow palette. And it was the first sh uh, palette that I learned how to do eyeshadow with. So, shout out to my boyfriend, guys. He helped me out on this. And then I got the um, Naked 3, which I had Naked 2, so when Naked 3 came out, I'm like, oh, I need Naked 3. You know how it goes. So, I got Naked 3. And then I have Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette ever, 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 ever. Love this, love this, love this. It's absolutely amazing. Then I have the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I have last year's Tarte uh, Limited Edition Holiday Blush Palette. And then I keep all of my gold... <laughs> 
package palettes right here just because it looks nice. Like, let's be honest, right? So then I have the Tarte Tartelette palette. This one is, oh, so beautiful. Like, purpley, mauve shades. Then I have all four of the Eyes of the Windows by Stila palettes. I have all four of them because I really wanted to collect these. Um, I purchased two of them myself, and I believe the other two I got as gifts. Mine is definitely my absolute favorite. It is an all matte palette. It is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever in the entire world. Then I also have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess um, palette. This was limited edition last year. I believe right now they have one that's like a bronze color, but they have this really pretty gold, which I had to have. As soon as I saw that it was gold, I had to have it. You guys know the drill, but I actually got this on clearance after the holidays. I think like December 26th. I got this on clearance for 25 bucks at Sephora. Then I also have the NARS limited edition virtual domination or something like that palette. A couple of the Anastasia palettes right here. So I have Maya Mia, Artist Palette, and Shadow Couture. So moving on to more of the back of the drawer. Over here I have smaller palettes. So I have two Sigma palettes. I have um, the Makeup Geek Vegas Lights palette, which I just did a tutorial with. And then I have the Too Faced Natural Matte palette, which this is really pretty. So I have another one of the Buxom Customizable palettes. This one I, I made myself. I really love that. I have a Becca. Um, I think this is the Ombre Rouge the Too Faced Selfie Powder, the Laura Mercier Cream Contour Palette. Over here I have a lot of my Morphe ones. The 35O Palette, which is the most popular recently. So back there, like I said to you, I have some drugstore ones. I have Elf, I have Wet n Wild, I have more Elf. I have two Maybelline ones, two of the L'Oreal, and the NYX Contour Kit, which I don't really like too much, but I keep it there for review purposes. Whew, I feel like that was a long one. So that is it for my palette drawer. This is a heavy drawer. We're almost getting to the end, guys. Like thumbs up this video if you're still watching it. Like, this must be a long video. Next, I have my eyelash drawer. This is where I keep all of my false eyelashes. I actually have this tray right here, which is the same tray that I had to store my foundations in. So this is another 8x12 tray from roomandorder.com. On the side here, I have some setting sprays. I have the Scandinavia, the L'Oreal infallible for my lashes i have all of the coco lashes lined up here all of my social eyes lashes lined up here and all of my mosquito lashes lined up over here i absolutely love mosquito lashes lash named desiree or desire and on the side here i have all of my morphe eyeshadows which fits perfectly snug together and on the side. And over here I have some of my like really cheap lashes that I absolutely love. I have some Stardell, some Cara lashes. Over here I have some Ardell lashes. I also have the Ardell Demi Wispies. Then I have a um, Esquito eyelash glue and a Social Eyes eyelash glue that I- And yeah, that is pretty much it for this drawer. Now for the last drawer. You guys have finally made it to the end. This drawer is a little crazy, but it is like my other miscellaneous and backup drawer. On the side here, I have a bunch of product backups that I, they're products that I use all the time and I have backups of them. So I have backups of my favorite mascara, the Maybelline one, backups of my, um, I know this is a little excessive, but I have backups of my favorite liquid liner from NYC. I also have two backups of my favorite Becca bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's the Shadow and Light bronze contour perfector it is amazing so becca sent me over two backups or three backups but i'm already using the third one so amazing i have some extra z palettes over here and that is actually pretty much it so guys that is pretty much it for my makeup collection organization and storage video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you made it to the end of this video like thumbs up this video and leave a comment down below letting me know you made it to the end because kudos to you. Hopefully you guys really did enjoy this video. Make sure if you did like it to give me a like thumbs up because it really helps my channel out if you do like it and share it with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll of course see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.